Hi, welcome to Sharing My Art, and today we're going to do a little person. We're going to start and end up with a little painted man. I've taught this class several times. I've carved 2019 of them in 30 years, and all of them are at good homes, I hope. Um, once again, we're going to start with our knife and our seven by seven eighths by seven eighths by two and a quarter piece of wood. I always start with this. It may end up um, a little shorter if I lose the hat. He might end up being a bald headed guy with ears. Ears are hard to carve and we aren't going to do ears on this one because it's your first. Okay, our first step that we do and I have this step-by-step step here that we'll refer to later. First step is just the block. The second step is a, is a sweeping cut that you'll use a lot in carving. And it looks like this. I like to put my thumb on the, on the back side of my knife because it gives me a little more pressure. And that way I'm not just, I'm not just sharpening this piece of wood into a point. It gives me a lot of control. I use about the end of my, the fourth of an inch of the end of my knife here because then you don't have to push so much through. If I put, went here, I would have to push all that blade through that wood. So I'm going to start, oh, about three eighths of an inch down and make a rolling cut. You see that? I'm going to cut off all the corners and that's step number two. And yeah. Okay. So we've cut the corners off with this sweeping cut. I put my, my thumb at the back and push and roll. Push and roll. So step three is to make this round circle, the top of the hat. Okay. Step number three right here. So I'm just going to pencil in a circle. And it's between the size of a dime and a nickel. Yours might be a little smaller than this. It's okay. So we have, you know, we have roughly a circle there. Now I'm going to take that same cut and come up to my lines. Put your knife in, roll it up. See, my, my wrist rolls like this, in and roll, in and roll. This takes the pressure off of your hand and puts, puts uh, the pressure onto the blade. A nice, simple rolling cut. Okay, I've left a little couple of angles there. I'll go back and roll up. Now I'm changing, changing my grip and cutting towards myself. Same cut using the end of the knife. Okay, so as I look down, I've got my circle there, the top of the hat. Now I'm going to take my blade and cut this fuzzy stuff off. This is where the bandsaw cut, cut the grain of the wood. And I, I like this, uh, this look better. It takes the paint better. So we're just going to cut that top of the hat off. And there we're ready to go to step four. Now step four is taking the corners off underneath the hat and making this into the hat brim. We're not cutting underneath here, we're cutting up to it. So I look down, I'm going, yep, looks pretty good. This needs to be a little, little bit uh, sharper angle. Now 
Now I'm just going to take these corners off about mm, half an inch down. I'm putting a knife in and pushing with this thumb, rolling with this hand. Put it in, roll it up. So now when I look at it, I need to cut those corners off. So I'm going to go all the way around my hat. Say something like, oh, if you've missed any steps or if I'm moving too fast, feel free to you know, go back, watch the next, you know. Okay. Now at any time, if, if you've missed something, uh, you know, you sneezed, had to answer the door, just just go back, rewind this, and, uh, and look at the step again. All I'm doing is taking this, see the different texture of this wood compared to my cut? I'm taking all the bandsaw cuts off. Alright, I've got a little hat going here. I'm going to go back and roll this. See that rolling cut is real important. And the reason we do this little farmer is he has so many cuts that you're going to learn to use in your uh, later carvings and things that you do later and it all happens with this one little guy. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that hat. And it, it looks pretty much like step four. Hi, that's uh, the end of steps one through four. And we're going to continue until we get this to this. Thank you.